In the last video, we looked at how we could use the student's t-test to look at variation between two different samples. Yeah? And that's really, really good and a really powerful tool. However, what happens if we have more than one set of data, or more than two sets of data, sorry? Yeah? Uh, is there a tool that we can use for that? Well, as you can see, we've got a set of data here, and the data is collected over a number of years. And what the data is actually showing in this is the mass gain that a population of reindeer made between being weighed in the, at the end of the winter and weighed at the end of the summer. So the researchers were interested in finding out if any of the years there was a significant difference in the amount of weight that they gained. And they were looking at how the weather affects that weight gain in the winter. So we've got this data. And if you just look a glance at the data, it doesn't look particularly different. Yeah, There are a few things that stand out, but it doesn't look massively, massively different. Yeah, However, none of the reindeer in 2007 seemed to put on more than... 5.7 kilos, whereas there are a few reindeer in the other years that put on more than 5 kilos. Yeah, So is 2007 actually different from the other years? And we can use ANOVA to actually answer that. Now the mathematics of ANOVA is a little bit complex and I would say probably a bit difficult to do by hand. However, this is where Excel comes to the rescue. Inside Excel there is this data function tool and most installs of Excel have this data analysis tool already installed. However, it isn't installed everywhere. So if you don't see this data analysis tool in your Excel, what you need to do is on the internet look for how you would install what's called the data analysis pack. And in this case, pack is spelt P-A-K. So it's the data analysis pack or data analysis tool pack. Okay. Now, very, very importantly is the way that I've set up my data to do this. If you notice, I've set up my data with the words year 2006, year 2007, year 2008. For this exercise, you can't have um, numerical numbers in your title. So if you notice, I've set up the table so that my headings actually contain words. For what we're going to do, that's quite important. You can't have just numbers in your headings for this, right? So what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we click on Data Analysis Tool. And in the Data Analysis Tool, what we want to do is click on this thing called a single factor. Okay, a single factor and over. And we just click OK. And what we want to do is select our data range. Now, I've already selected the data range. And you can see that the data range is from D3 all the way through to F17. OK, and that's shown up here. So D3 to F17. I've highlighted that my data is in columns and not in rows, that my data is reading down the page, not across the page. And I've tagged that the label is in the first row. That means the tool will ignore the titles in terms of calculation. And I've set this alpha at 0 0.05. Now, the alpha is just exactly the same as statistical significance. So what I'm really doing is saying I want to test this where p equals 0 0.05. And I've selected an output range of where I'm going to post this table, because it creates quite a big table. But I'll just show you how to do that. You just click on here, and you click on the cell that you want to be the starting cell of your table. And all you do is click OK, and you click that, and this post pastes in a rather nice table. It gives you a summary table of your data. So it gives you the summation of the data. Yeah, it gives you the summary table, and it gives you the averages of it. OK, and it create, calculates the variance within the table. And then it does an ANOVA table. And what we really are interested in is p-value here. Yeah, this is the one that's really important to us. If you have a p-value that is greater than 0.05, that means statistically there's no difference at all between the sets of data. But, however, you can see that our p-value this time is actually quite less than 0.05. It's actually 0.0003. Yeah? So there is a significant difference between our sets of data. The disadvantage with ANOVA is it doesn't tell you where that difference is. And there are a few tools that we can use to actually calculate this that are called uh, post hoc tools. However, 
You may not need to use those. You can actually do this graphically quite easily, which is the reason for using uh, letters in my headers. What we can do is actually create a graph of the variance to compare to the average and compare that in the same way that we compared standard error of the mean in a previous video. So what we do is highlight the data in our groups and copy that data and just repaste it as a table here. And then we want to highlight and copy the averages to create a brand new data table. We highlight those and then we go to our insert chart tool and we're just going to insert a simple column chart and this gives us a column chart just like this which I'll expand out a bit to make it a bit easier to see. And as we can see, there is a difference. So year 2007 does look different, but there's also a difference between 2006 and 2008. Um, but is that difference really important? So again, the same as when we were adding SEM error bars, what we do this time is, is that we click on the error bar, or click on the chart bar that we want, and we go to add a chart element error bars and again we select the more error bar option and we want custom error bars and again we're going to have to specify some values for this yeah and so what we're going to use is variance so what we want to do is from our other table is actually highlight the variance and that's our positive variance and this is our negative variance so this is plus and minus the variance of those averages. And we just click OK. And as we can see from our error bars, that, well, actually, there's an overlap between the variance in the error bars of 2006 and 2008. So we can assume that those two groups, those two samples, are actually quite similar to each other. Whereas the year 2007, there's no overlap in our, in our error bars. So again, we can assume that most of the variation, that there's a significantly difference in terms of variation in 2007. So that's how we can use this technique called ANOVA to look at differences between more than two samples and also how we can use plotting a variance on our graph to tell us something, to actually describe something about the differences between these samples. Hopefully that was useful. And do look in again for another video that will help with statistics in biological and ecological sciences. Thanks a lot.